So chat GPT just made me go and spend thousands of dollars in Microsoft stocks. I'm going to tell you why. All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again. CodingSpace.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. Listen, this is not financial advice. Don't do what I do, right? <laughs> I win some, I lose some, but it's okay. This is play money. This is monopoly money at this point. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so why am I investing in Microsoft? And I actually hate Microsoft. Most of you guys know that, right? Y'all know that I really don't like that company because I feel like most of the time they never innovate. They never do anything cool. And at the same time, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's like a corporate company that, I don't know, like it just doesn't have the swag, right? So again, <laughs> shout out to the CEO. Let's not disrespect him like that and put the put the box over him, right? Let's not do that, right? Uh, but yeah, Microsoft bets big on the creator of ChatGPT in race to dominate AI. Okay, so they already invested in 2019 about a billion dollars in opening eye, right? Before everybody got hyped, before you even know what Chat GPT was, they already invested in it. Okay, they already put money into it. And guess what? Now they're about to put in about $10 billion and basically make a deal. Um, I heard from somebody that they're trying to get like a, a 49, 51 deal, right? I, I need to get the full info on this one. Um, that's what I heard from somebody. But uh, basically, they're getting a, to put some money into it. $10 billion deal, right? Um, and basically, they're going to own more of OpenAI, okay? Now, for everybody that's watching this, most of you guys think that OpenAI is supposed to be like, hey, open source AI. So I, I've heard people say this Okay, so don't don't hold me to it. There's people that's been like, yeah, this is supposed to be open source. They're making it available to everybody. And I'm like, bro, hold on, bro. They're not making it available to everybody. What they're doing is they're giving you the demo. You know, this is something that they do in the hood. You know what I mean? You, you, you get yourself a break. You come in, you give the crackheads a little sample. So like, here you go. Take a couple of lines. Try that, right? Now they love it. They love the blue magic. Now they're back. Yo, man, what's, what's that chat GPT, man? I need that, right? That's what they're doing to all of you guys, right? So they're getting you guys hyped, right? Getting you guys excited, okay? Uh, uh, as you can see, you know, the website be down, the website be up, the website be down, the website be up. They're just giving you the demo. They're making you, you know, get hooked on it, okay? And this is a great idea, okay? This is a really, really great idea. Not only because it goes viral, people talking about it, uh, but at the same time, people see the power in it. And then now they're like, oh, shoot, I didn't know that I needed this. You know, even myself, I wasn't even paying attention to AI at all. I'm not paying attention to none of that. You know, the last few years, people, machine learning, Python, this, I'm not paying attention to that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit that I, on my mind and I got a lot of things that I got to pay attention to. So I wasn't paying attention to it, right? But guess what? Now with ChatGPT, gave an introduction to everybody. It was like, oh shit, this shit's kind of powerful. This shit's something that people might use on an everyday basis, right? Just like people, how people use Google. Now they're gonna be using, you know, some artificial intelligence to help them uh, solve problems and, and help them, you know, basically we're creating tools, which is gonna be a really cool thing. So guess what? What does that mean for Microsoft? Right? Microsoft is putting his, you know, putting their money. Where their mouth is they're like yo hold on bro we got this we, we pay the bill right now right so they're putting the money up right to get a piece of it now what's crazy about it is that they kind of been doing this on the low mm. right they, they kind of been already in this world of ai and they already did this once the same idea of chat gpt hey it's out come use it try it out for free and I don't know if you guys remember, some of you guys that are developers, y'all know about this, right? Good old GitHub Copilot, right? Just a few months ago, I don't know, maybe last year, right? People was losing their minds like, AI is here, pair programmer, it makes your life so much easier, this, this, and that. And they gave it away as a demo initially. They gave you access to it. You could have it on your VS Code, right? And it will help you write the code, right? And we just give you suggestions of on uh, what you wanted to do, right? Um, and people were going crazy too at that time. And they're like, man, this is actually pretty good. But guess what? 
it was free in the beginning. They gave you the demo, right? They gave you that first line. It's like, take that first line, my guy. Try this. You know what I mean? Try this sample. <laughs> now it's $10 a month. Now imagine this, right? Microsoft is probably one of the biggest companies in the world, right? And there's so many people that use Microsoft products from enterprise, right? Uh, to your small businesses, to everyday users, right? I mean, people love gaming, right? People love, uh, you know, using Microsoft Word and, you know, Excel and this, this and that, right? All the tools, Microsoft 365 or whatever they call it, right? They love using that shit. So guess what, right? Microsoft is about to get a big bag. Imagine they just go in and start implementing this to, you know, their their Cortana. What was the name of that, that thing? Cortana? Yeah, remember there was like a little stupid random thing, fake ass Siri that used to pop up on Microsoft. Hey, Cortana, can you find uh, this, this, and that? And we'll give you a Google search result. Now imagine ChatGPT mixed with Cortana. And you're like, yo, Cortana, what's going on today in the stock market? Right? And they go in and say, okay, we got we got you. Here's what's going on. Da da da. And what stock should I be putting my money on today? Well, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Like now this is the type of future, right? People are going to pay for things like that, right? Uh, hey, I'm using Microsoft Word and I don't know, I'm, I'm having writer's block. I can't think of an idea, right? Guess what? Now with this, you can go in and say, well, I got chat GPT is included with it. Okay. Right. You pay a subscription to Microsoft. It's $10, you know, $15. Who knows what it's going to be, right? And they give you the basics. You want to get the, the real-time stuff? Guess what? You're going to have to pay $50, $100. Because right now, even if we go and use ChatGPT, right? And even if we go in and say, hey, uh, you know, uh, tell me the best, the best team. Let me go in and put this here on the screen so you guys can see. Uh, and the first thing is going to say, I'm sorry. I don't have the ability to predict the future. Uh, such as the best NBA team in 2022, my training data only goes to 2021, meaning that this shit is on the past, right? This shit is giving you information from two years ago, okay? So right now, let's say this is the, the $5 special. This is the $10 special, the $15 special. But if you really want to unlock the real-time data, now you got to pay $50. Now you got to pay $100, you get what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? Right? This is the right way. Like, Microsoft's not stupid, right? Um, I, I think they understood uh, the game now, right? Because, you know, Apple's been kicking their ass for years. But guess what? Now, in software, like, they understand what they got to do, okay? And they're actually trying to acquire uh, good companies and, and, and bring them into their portfolio, to integrate them with their tools. I mean, they own LinkedIn, if I'm not mistaken. They own GitHub, right? Which is another big, big, big thing, right? I mean, imagine this. We all use GitHub, right? And we all go put our code on GitHub, right? And then, <laughs> it's so crazy, right? We go to GitHub, we put our code there, and we just say, hey, yeah, my code is private. Our code is not private, right? Even if we go in and put it private, the Google or whatever GitHub's co-pilot is in there, you know, going through your code, you could come up with a solution and guess what? That's going to pop up for somebody else's, right? If somebody goes and uses GitHub co-pilot, most likely they're using your code. They say it doesn't, but I don't believe them, okay? Because where are they going to get all of this data? You know, if you look at, at, at the GitHub co-pilot, they say some random number they're like yo it's been trained by millions and millions of of <laughs> lines of code trained on billions of lines of code where you're gonna get those billions right <laughs> we know where you got it github right it's us right we're basically the product right so it's the same thing when you know you have websites like uh deviant art right and you see like deviant art uh, is a website where people upload their art right and basically what's happening is, even though they say they don't, right, um, those artificial intelligence pro uh, products or services like Mid Journey, they're using data from DeviantArt. 
there's been artists that have very similar styles and they've been copying it directly from deviant art and they change the terms and services of it basically saying hey yes uh you know you own your art but we can use this as data pretty much so this is the same thing that they're doing right microsoft is doing with github they bought github for that specific reason and this is sometimes one of the problems when when it comes to this it's like yo sometimes you you trust a, a company but guess what a company that you might not trust can easily go and buy them <laughs> So yeah, you know, this is why I use Bitbucket, right? Uh, but again, shout out to GitHub Copilot, right? Um, again, I, I'm trying to get a bag too. So I already invested a couple of thousands of dollars into this, right? And so I say, yo, you should have waited out. You should have gave it some more time. You know, next year is going to go down more. You know, you can't time the, the freaking market. If you go in and be like, oh, we're going we're gonna to find out what's the bottom, bro, I've lost so much money trying to time shit. Now what I do is I go in and I buy, you know, stocks or I invest into something when I feel it, when I know enough about it. And I'm like, oh, I'm uncomfortable with this. And I, I, I feel like, okay, this could get me some money and this could lose me some money. And if I'm comfortable with losing the money, I'll go in and, and put the money in, right? And a lot of times I will say, you know, 80% of the time I win, okay? Um, so again... I'm not telling you guys to put any money into this, right? But I am putting some money into, you know, Microsoft stocks, right? Straight up, you know? Even though GitHub Copilot says, should I buy Microsoft stocks because of OpenAI? And OpenAI is like, I would not recommend making the decision to buy or sell stocks based solely on a company's association with a specific technology or organization such as OpenAI, okay? I understand that, right? But... There's times that you got to go in and, and trust your gut. You know what I mean? Trust that gut that you got. You know what I mean? Like, this is something that's going to make money. It only makes sense. Okay? Uh, Microsoft has the infrastructure uh, to handle all of this. Um, right now, currently, you know, GitHub Copilot or it, it's running perfectly. Uh, OpenAI right now is, is shaky because it's the demo version. They just gave you the sampler. You know what I mean? So, right now... Once they go in and say, okay, cool, let's put everything on on Microsoft infrastructure and let Microsoft Azure handle all of this, like, yeah, they're going to be good. And then on top of that, they're trying to integrate it to Bing, which Bing is pretty much irrelevant. I don't know anybody who says, yo, Bing that. You tell me, when was the last time somebody told you, yo, I need some information? Can you Bing that? <laughs> Never. This shit has never been heard. Nobody has been binging nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's gonna be like, "Yo, bing that." But with ChatGPT, you go in and you tell people, "Hey, you could use ChatGPT for free with us. We got the same technology. You could you could run your your search results through here." And now people are used to the idea of OpenAI and ChatGPT. Now, when it comes to artificial intelligence, for the normal people. That don't know anything, they're not developers, they don't know shit about this thing, right? They're gonna call this shit, yo, Chat GPT that. Same thing like how you, when you say, hey man, call me an Uber. When was the last time you say, call me a taxi? It's been a long time, right? Now it's just, hey, Uber that. You know, send me an Uber, man. I'm waiting for the Uber. I've seen people waiting for Lyft and say, I'm just waiting for my Uber. And the Lyft car shows up. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is how it's going to be, man. So again, Microsoft is is going to be, you know, getting some bread this this past year. And you know what? I'm so pissed off because, you know, I used to own a lot of Microsoft stocks, even though I don't like the company, but I used to own a lot of Microsoft stocks back in the days when it was like $50. Okay? This is crazy. Okay? It was like $50. This is longer than that. Around like 2015. Yeah, around 2015, it was like around $50. And I used to own a lot. I used to own, I mean, not that much, but maybe like 200, 200, 300 of them, right? And now, you know, I remember in the pandemic, it went up to 300 and something. Now it's been going down, but, you know, at the same time, I do believe that 
this is the new norm. This is around the new norm. This this area right here, in between, you know, the one fifty to the two hundred fifty. That's the new norm for Microsoft, especially with everything that's gonna be happening now. It's just gonna open up the doors even more for them to continue to grow. Okay, now I went in. Uh, I purchased today. What was the the price that I bought it? I bought it here, uh, two thirty five. Right, so I'm comfortable if it goes down. I'm comfortable if it goes to one fifty. I'm comfortable if it goes to one eighty. Whatever, right? I'm fine because this is gonna be a long term play. I'm not gonna you know miss out on this Microsoft bag that's coming. Okay, so I'm comfortable with this. I know I could get some bread back. I'm pretty sure that this thing is probably going to get to at least 500 or 600. And then they'll probably do some random split. Like, yo, split this shit up. It's too much. I wouldn't be surprised they do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing some Tesla. They're like, yo, hold on. Split it up, my guys. It's too much. Right? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised they do that in a few years. And it's fine. We're playing the long-term game. But I think Microsoft has this on the back. Right? When it comes to AI, I think they, they're going to really, really kill it uh, with this um, just overall because it seems like they, they're really taking this more seriously than everybody else. Um, yes, Google is in the same game. Yes, Apple is in the same game. But I don't see them really making any moves yet. Again, you know, Apple, I, I, own, I own Apple stocks for a long time. I'm, I'm a long time holder of of Apple stocks. I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to retire with those, you know? So I'm good. But <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised they come in and, and pull out the Trump card and be like, "Remember us?" You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we got Siri over here twerking. You know what I mean? Like, yo, shit is real now, right? Especially with the new uh AR glasses that they're coming out. I don't know, man. It's the future. We we're, we're living in a beautiful time right now. I know some people depressed, the economy is down, this isn't that. This is all opportunities. Understand everything goes up, everything goes down, but then it comes back up again. Okay? And the ones that, you know, invest now and, and get their money in when things are down, this is where, you know, you're gonna really uh get your bag up. But again, Chad GPT made me invest into Microsoft again. And I hate that company. Shit is crazy. I'm see you guys later. That's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Don't forget to go to codingphase.com if you want to learn how to code, okay? If you want to get into the game, guys, there's no better platform than codingphase.com, okay? If you really want to come in, we don't teach coding as a hobby. There's a big difference between learning to code and me learning to code to get a job and me learning to code so I could start making some money with this independently. There's two different things. The guys is just learning to code. Anybody can learn to code. They teach that in high school now, Okay? just to learn what a syntax is, what a function is, what a variable is. But when you're trying to learn exactly what you're going to be doing at a job, guess what? This is where you go to, codingphase.com. We focus on skills for jobs and, you know, to make money independently. You know me. I'm about my bag. Anyways, guys, see you guys later. Peace.